Okay. Now, we know how to optimize problems. In 2D, in 3D it's the same. Um, in, if you know how to how the solver input works, you can program it by yourself, but then you can use existing software. Okay, what we get are this finite element structure, this, 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 this discrete structure, this block structure. And what you want are these ones, these smoothed ones, these models. So that we can um, use it for um, 3D printing or something else, or for, for I don't know, for a, for a second run, for example. Okay. There are two other ones with adaption and weight factor, so we can see we can combine it in 3D also. We need to interpret it a little bit. It's a little bit confusing. So sometimes it, it won't work combining some problems with these two methods I've suggested. Yeah. But the question is how can we smooth it? And there's a way. The first way I show you is we can draw it and in, we can use Blender. It's an open source animation software. And we see a 2D problem and we only need to um, draw some planes around the TDU program, extrude it, and then we get this 3D control. Okay, this is really easy. It needs, it, if you are good in Blender, you need only 10 minutes, for example, for this problem. And you get a nice structure, which can be printed or can and be um, run again. Okay, then I'll show you what it will be if you run it again. If you run it again, you can see there's a problem of our optimization part. We see, okay, there are some parts which have a really low strain and some with a really high strain. And then we do a second optimization again. And then we can see, okay, where we, we don't need some of this uh, beam structure and where we need it. This is just an example. You can um, choose the, the first one. It's, it's, quite, it's, it's quite good, but um, I think if we do some other optimization, we can see, um, we know where are some, um, that's not the optimum. And the second one is how can we use it automatic in Blender? We have a final element result with this block stru structure. We import it as an STL. You can you um, choose an as an another format um, as well. And then we use remesh. In Blender you can remesh it, and then you get a smooth structure. Then you can use subsurfaces. So this one um, will divide your existing surfaces into several surfaces, and you can do it again and again. And then you get a nice result. This is really quite good. And then you can delete um, some parts of the model too, if you don't want them. For example, this, this beams on the, on the side here, here and here, you can delete it. Okay, and you can use this one for a next finite element analysis. This is done on this slide. And in this case, in the second optimization, this one will be needed, and we get a better um, a better ratio between the density max, uh, not the density max, the, the, the strain max and the strain minimum. So first we have zero zero and zero three, and now we have three, zero three point five, uh, zero three five and zero two five. Okay. So a second optimization um, is useful for optimizing really till to the end. This is not the final optimum. This is just a, a very good result, but the final optimum looks totally different. If you want to um, so optimize it till the end, you can look at ma it's called Michel structures. These are really, really the best optimized result. You can um, get it by the topology optimization um, and you can get these results too, but you need a very, 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 uh, very, very big finite element mesh. So you need fine element size. This. Okay. 
what you can also do is you can define a non-designed space so if you have something like um, in this case for uh, a boat um, you can say okay around this hole I um, don't want um, I, I want material yeah but just another topic and here are some some um, some of other um, investigations the left one is multi-material the right one is fluid mechanics so you can add it to your tool or you can add it this will be done in in, in my tool in till august for I, I think till august and then you can use multi-material and fluid mechanics okay just a resume optimization you get really a lot of results and you don't know which one you choose normal well in, in this case you can choose the left one the left button one it looks really nice but um, if you have um, other problems maybe you don't know which one is the better one so you need to test it the software I did it by myself and I only use open source software and so no license cost maybe it's a stability but um, if you have a lot of customers for example um, this won't be a problem and the geometry in blender really fast but the results are not um, exact okay if you have question write it in the comments or for example somewhere else i don't know maybe i don't answer to you but um, I think the slides should be uh, make something clear to your problems. Okay.